Hi and Happy New Year. Chris Lam here. I hope you had a great Christmas and New Year's. Uh, we are going to jump right in. It's January of 2022 and going into this year, wow, there is so much news to talk about in real estate. I'm going to try to keep it as short as possible, but a lot of people are asking, is this ye the year that we're going to see real estate crash? Is it still a good idea to buy a house? And we're just going to jump into some of the data and some of the things that we're seeing on a local level as, we're, as well as some nationwide trends uh, to kind of just maybe forecast what um, w might be a close guess of what we could expect in the first and second quarter of 2022. And we're gonna jump right in. The first thing we wanna talk about is interest rates. Uh, now for, for many of you that have been following, we've been talking about rates going up. Inflation has been a big problem this last year. Uh, back in November, we saw the reading of inflation uh, for C with, with CPI up above 7%. And this is the highest inflation that we've seen since the 80s. And so a lot of people are feeling that pain. And one of the ways that the, the, the government or the Federal Reserve combats inflation is by raising the Fed rate, which indirectly will have an impact on mortgage rates. And over the last month, the Federal Reserve has come out on record multiple times saying that they are going to start tapering their asset purchasing program and begin to sor sort of put some of the tools that they have in play uh, to slow inflation. And we are certainly seeing that the impact of that decision uh, pulling rates up as well as pulling stocks down. And so financial markets have had some chaos. For those of you who follow cryptocurrency, it's been affecting cryptocurrency. And heading into this year, we are already seeing mortgage rates go up. Currently right now in January, rates are up about a half a percent from where they were just a month ago. And it seems like there may be no end in sight as we head into the end of January. Um, now, I wanna just remind you that when we talk about mortgage rates, if you've got a 5% interest rate, you've got one of the lowest rates that, we, that have ever, has ever existed. Um, but a lot of us have been kind of spoiled and been seeing these rates in the twos and threes. If rates go into the mid threes or even to the low fours in 2022, it's still a good rate, um, but it's definitely a little higher than what we've seen. So how is that gonna impact housing? You know, let's first talk about housing. We still have low inventory nationwide. So if you look at any market on Zillow right now, and you were to look at a home that's uh, aggressively priced, it's still selling, in many cases getting multiple offers. With that being said, we are seeing some areas in, in the country, definitely here in Shasta County, um, we are starting to see that buyer demand slow down a little bit. And the reason we're seeing that is not just because rates have been rising, but because affordability has become a real challenge for many people that wanna buy a house uh, that just no longer can afford it or they don't like the price they're paying. And so as we head into this year, that's something we're gonna be keeping an eye out as rates rise, it's only gonna make that problem more challenging. And most experts predict in the spring and summer, it's still gonna be a very, very busy time. We're still gonna have low inventory, um, but a lot of buyers will see that there won't be that same competitive uh, sort of gusto that people had in the spring of 2021. And you might be able to find a house a little bit easier than you did last year. So that's something we're gonna keep our eye on. The second thing we wanna, or the third thing we wanna to touch on is new construction. And this is a trend that we're gonna keep talking about because it's really one of the biggest solutions to the inventory problem is more homes coming into the market. Now here in Shasta County, uh, there are two or three large developments that still exist. There's Pleasant Hills and Anderson. Um, you know, DR Horton has purchased a lot of lots that they're gonna be developing this spring and summer. And hopefully this summer we are gonna see uh, a little bit more new construction that, than we've seen the last couple of years. And that's certainly gonna help the problem um, but most experts predict that it's not gonna be enough. Uh, and the reason why is because if we go back to 2008 and nine, uh, into 2010, when the housing crisis started, there simply has not been enough new construction for the last decade uh, to, to catch up with the demand of families that need housing in the nation, which is why we're seeing rents go up at such fast levels and home prices staying where they're at. Uh, so the question that, that a lot of people are asking is, is it a good idea to buy a house right now or should I wait? And this is a great question to ask. One of the things you have to look at is what are your alternatives? Uh, certainly renting is an alternative, waiting is an alternative, depending on where you live. But for most people that are buying homes right now, their rents are being raised 
or their landlords are looking to sell their house and cash in on all that equity. So the instability in being a renter right now is probably more and more, you know, less stable than it's ever been. Um, you know, we are also seeing people move out of the Reading area, but we're also seeing a lot of people move into the Reading area. And so these are some of the trends that we're going to be paying attention to as we head into this year. Uh, if you have any questions about buying a house, feel free to reach out to me. Questions about a refinance, I would love to help you. We're helping a lot of people that are uh, doing a cash out refinance right now and paying off higher interest debt. And the last thing I want to talk, talk about is if you're someone who has been relocated out of the area, uh, my team and I are licensed in Tennessee, Florida, Arizona, Nevada, Washington, Oregon, and Arizona, if I didn't say that already. So feel free to reach out to me. If you or someone you know is moving out of the area for whatever reason, we'd love to help them in that transition. I hope you have a great rest of your January. I look forward to checking in with you sometime soon. Have a great day.